Good morning, dudes. How is it going? This is a pub. A, a pub, like any of them. Like, I went to the watch list, and there was a game that was pre-game. I was like, yep, let's watch that. And they're hopefully gonna be like a billion people. Well, four. That's a start, right? It's not too bad. <laughs> I want to cast more. I do. I know that you guys don't appreciate it as much as you do my other videos, and that's fine. Right, I'm gonna become better at it, I promise. But to become better, I need to practice. And uh, that's what I am doing right here. Now, of course, I'm not uploading every single one of these shitfests. I actually just cast two games, and both of them were awful. Both for my part and the game's part. So we're not uploading those, and this one is hopefully gonna be better. Anyway. So, what do we have? We've got a Bat Rider, we've got a Klings, we've got an Earth Shake, we've got a Timber Saw, and we've got that Earth Spoon. I'm actually very excited to see this hero because this is a guy you don't get to see a lot, and I have no idea what to do with him. He's very confusing to me. I have no clue. None. On the other side, we've got a Lich, a Bristleback, a Templar Assassin in the mid lane, a Death. Wait, Mirana. What, what is she doing yet? <laughs> What's going on? Okay, Mirana hiding in the jungle somewhere and a Death Prophet solo in the top lane. So, well, that's interesting. Now, I was already a little confused. Like, if we're gonna go with a Death Prophet and uh, Mirana lane. But I guess that's okay because Mirana's actually a very good support. Now, this right here, though, I think she's gonna go and try to go for an arrow. Now, even if they hit that, I'm not quite sure they can actually kill this Earth Spirit. Arrow flying, not going to connect. Now she has been spotted. So there's not really much of a point to her staying. I think she's just gonna leave. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. At the very least, it will be really difficult to connect anything with the Earth Spirit now, since, well, he is a weird little Murana, is here. Well, no, there's always that. But, I don't know. And Lich hasn't skilled his slow. Of course, you always want to get the the E at first. And now she's just straight up revealing herself. Okay, that's fine. In the meantime, we've got the Templar Assassin going up against the Clinks in the mid lane. And it appears that the Bat Rider is just gonna jungle. That's nice. I like that. That's fantastic. And then, of course, the Timber Saw solo at the top lane. And Earthshaker roaming. So these guys got, like, three solo heroes, which is interesting, to say the least. Uh, I, uh, I really do think that's actually quite fascinating. I wouldn't have put these lanes like this at all. But I guess it works for them. They don't really have a good way to put them, right? Like, that's that's the thing. I can say, yeah, I wouldn't have put them like this, but how would I have put them? Ugh, probably the Earthshaker just in a lane. Like, which would probably just slap the Earthshaker into his bottom lane with the Earth Spirit. These two are still not gonna get shit for money. That's true. But at the very least, the Earthshaker can make sure they don't die. Earthshaker's actually really good at that. And talking about dying, he might just get picked off right here. Mirana is just beating him up. This has to be the most painful death in the universe. She's got boots, and if she connects with this arrow, that will be the kill. If she doesn't, then that's gonna be the end of it. And it seems she's not even gonna attempt it in the meantime. Lich now incoming. Is he gonna throw all the slow? No, no. They know they're not gonna kill the Earth Spirit. They just don't deal enough damage for that. Mirana, she doesn't hit that hard, right? She just doesn't. She hits for 45 damage. That's not a lot. It's not a lot. Lich also doesn't hit that hard. So, breaking through 600 HP, through 3 armor, and the Star Shield at level 2, it's just not gonna happen, right? They're not gonna kill him. And they need to connect an arrow, and afterwards, like, he can always just rolling boulder away. Yeah, he he's fine, and I like that they didn't even commit to that. I'd much rather save the mana and attempt another kill in another lane. Seems like a decent idea. Meantime, this uh, Templar Assassin is getting wrecked by the Klinks, which is fine. Uh, this is actually a lane that I think is very difficult for her. I think Klinks is a strong mid hero. I think Klinks is actually a strong hero in any lane. He's got amazing harassment potential. He's not a strong hero in any lane. Wait, let me rephrase that. I think Klinks is a strong hero in any solo lane. In a one-on-one... -on -one Solo matchup, right? I think Klinks is always good because he's got the searing arrows, which first of all give him so much fucking damage, and secondly allow him to harass freely. If you manually cast these, right? You've got two choices if it comes to searing arrows and any of these like used to be attack modifiers, one of which aren't attack modifiers anymore. I guess the answer still is. Is it? I don't know, actually. I'm really not too sure about that. But you can either right-click it, in which case, if you 
attack it automatically casts, which is what you usually want to do later on in the game, so you don't have to keep in mind to you know manually cast it every time. And uh, that's that's a fine thing to do. But the problem is, in that oh, nice arrow. That's gonna do it. Beautiful, beautiful. And Lich picks up that kill right there. That's nice. That was well done. Beautiful arrow. Anyway, but as I was about to say. The bonus damage. Uh, wait, where was I? <laughs> and if you right-click it and then you you attack something, it get cast. It gets cast. In that case, in that case, the creeps will actually aggro you because it counts as an attack. But if you just use the W button or whatever the hell hotkey you've got this ability assigned to, and then click on an enemy hero to cast it an attack, it doesn't actually count as an attack. It counts as a spell. So as you can tell right here. The creeps didn't aggro him. No, the one creep did, but that creep had uh, aggroed him before. Now, wait, what is she doing? Ah, I like that! She just activated her region. And did it get cancelled? Yes, it did get cancelled. But they still, still don't have the damage to kill her. And actually, she might turn it around. Nah, the invisibility coming out. Invisibility coming out, so that's fine. How many spectators? Six spectators. God damn, that's great. Hell yeah, man! <laughs> all of them viewers! Oh, all that Dota TV money. I'm actually like, nobody can hear this. We're watching a live game right now, because I wanted to do a live game. Now, I am fully aware that, considering I'm just going to upload this to YouTube and I don't stream it anywhere, that is pointless. <laughs> and it's just dumb shit. There is nothing to be gained from it being live, right? It just doesn't make a difference. But I don't care. I wanted to do a live game, so suck on it. <laughs> In the meantime, the Phantom Assassin is actually gonna risk the courier dying right there. If that was me, that courier would be dead, because I would have committed to that one. Bunny, bunny, bunny. Screw, screw that up! He could have gotten a career kill. Could have gotten a career kill. Oh well. Oh well. I think he could have. I'm not too sure about that, but that, that looked like it was possible. That definitely looked like it was possible. I just need one more hit. Maybe he thought that one hit was already good enough. In the meantime, we've got the Death Prophet getting targeted down. She will die. I wonder if the Mirana's gonna be able to pick up a counter kill on this Timber Saw, however. And it appears no. No, she actually won't be able to do so. Instead, she will get taken down. Yep, picked off by the Urshaker. Now Lich is coming in. It's gonna try to get a few hits in on this Urshaker. Um, King Bumi, as we like to call him. And it seems that, no, in, in fact, this Urshaker might be fine. Or not! Or not! Templar Assassin come roaming in as well. What the hell is going on now? It's just like a congress of people. What's happening? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everybody's top, apparently. And they all get a few kills here and there. But I think in the end, this ended up working out for the. Dyer? Yeah, the piercer. That this doesn't include the death profit kill, so they did I'm not I don't I actually think that might have been even. I don't know. I don't know. That that's actually a difficult call to I no, I think that was even the the fight recap didn't show that properly because the death profit died. She did. She did. And that's actually a very valuable kill because if we take a look at this, right, Death Prophet should be doing incredibly well. She got a solo lane. Uh, going up against a Timber Saw. Death Prophet, as a hero, can definitely beat a Timber Saw. In the mid. I'm not too sure about the sideline. Right? I think she should still do fine, because Death Prophet is really powerful. But I don't know if it's really good enough for a sideline. I don't know if that works, because she doesn't have runes. And that's really what, what this hero needs. Right? She needs to have that rune control. If she doesn't have that, then she won't have the mana to spam the Q. And that's really where all of her power comes from. Actually, I think she sh the, this team, like the, the Dyer, should have sent the Death Prophet in the into the mid lane. The Phantom Assassin is fine up top. Right? The Phantom Assassin doesn't rely as much on runes as the Death Prophet does. Yes, she she's still got a little bit of that going on. But with the Death Prophet, it's really essential, right? You, you just cannot really do much without runes. You need it. You absolutely need it. And she doesn't have any. <laughs> like, obviously, she's in the side lane. She could still grab a bottle and she could still go for it, but it's it's such a long way to go. If she was on the bottom lane, it would work out a little better. Maybe just give her the bottom Maybe lane, right? But then she's going right up against now. a Bristleback. I don't know if there's, like, a good way to, to lane this team. I don't, I don't really think so. 
I think the Phantom Assassin. Not Phantom Assassin. Actually, if this was a Phantom Assassin, that would be great because it can easily slap her into the top lane and have the Death Prophet take them in. But nah, that's unfortunate. You know, that's what you get though, right? That's why I personally like taking a look at these pub games because you see mistakes and they are much more obvious than they are in the really high level competitive games because. Well, these players are, more, are worse. Like, they're just shit compared to the high level players. It is just awful. <laughs> like, that's just it. They're just, it's just terrible. And actually, you know what they could have done? Could have just given. Wait, the Bristleback is actually on the Death Prophet's team. Did I say she was going up against it, though? They should have sent the Death Prophet down here. I think it would have been better. Just give her that sort of name. Um, or maybe just give her a Lich as a support. Oh, nice deny. Beautiful right there. Absolutely beautiful. I don't think they're going to be able to catch up to that. Bristleback doesn't have a lot of mana. Hmm. That was that was fantastic. And he even gets out. <laughs> Sneaky motherfucker. I don't think he should have lived through that one. But hey. That was a risky play. And it all worked out in the end. In the meantime, Urshaker is going to get slowed by the Lich. Uh, big new coming out. TA. Trying to get a few hits in, and yeah, she will be able to do so. Two easy right clicks and getting the kill just like that. Timosol roaming back into the mid lane as well. Trying to maybe, you know, help out a bit, but the Urshaker was already taken care of. And now he might be in a bit of trouble, but no, he's gonna hook shot himself away and it's gonna be just fine. And meantime, Klings, oh my god, TA, you crazy son of a bitch. Look at that damage, look at that crazy damage. Uh, she's gonna be fine, right? Obviously, but oh no! Actually, what I was saying, holy shit, Bat Rider with the big lasso coming out, TA, but might still be fine. No, it's dead. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, but holy shit, that hero deals so much damage. She went for some early drums. Actually, Timosol ah uh, misses that. If that had connected, would have been a kill. That's unfortunate. He's gonna hide himself up here. Oh, that's actually a nice spot. I wasn't aware that that works. Oh, that's cute. I'm still learning the new map as well. Still learning the new map as well. And those those little quirks, those are really, really beautiful. So that kill on the TA is actually worth a lot, as you can tell. Like that's that's a nice nice uh, little swing and you know, I think this game is going pretty like pretty evenly for both teams. Like obviously the die is doing a little better, but it's nothing too crazy. Like the gold is in their favor, but I don't think it's out of control in their favor. So it should be fine. Now, I have no idea how this Radiant team is supposed to fight, though, right? I think Urshaker needs a blink desperately, but he's not getting it anytime soon. That's not happening. <laughs> We've got Klings obviously going for some sort of Orchid or... Orchid. It could also be an Orchid. It's probably an Orchid, though. It's probably an Orchid. Also, these guys, they all need to pick up a magic one. Oh, nice! Timosaur coming in is actually going to be a quick, clean kill on the Bristlebag. Now, this is, of course, one of their big advantages right here. Timosaur is incredible at cutting down Strength Heroes. Bristlebag, Strength Hero, one of the most important cores on the Dire side. So, Timosaur is going to be able to deal with him rather nicely. And he's actually looking pretty good himself. Like, he's getting close to picking up that big Bloodstone. So, it's going to be an and it's going to be interesting to see, but I really think there's going to be a little bit of a problem with the Radiant and, you know, finishing those fights. But right now, they're just picking up kills. You now, just getting whatever kills they can, and it's actually working great for them. <laughs> like, I don't know how to describe this otherwise. <laughs> so, this tower is getting pressured, and this tower is going to maybe fall. I'm not... This really depends on how much they're willing to commit to this. Like, they can kill it right here, but it seems they care more about, you know... Staying alive, I suppose that makes sense, but uh, Timbersaw and Klings are still ready. They still want this tower. The glyph is used, which is nice. You should always use, use, use the glyph. Right before a tier 1 tower dies, use the glyph. Just do it. Okay, it's, it's gonna die. So this tower is going down, but I wonder if they can get punished for this. Mm, dust coming out, yes. Klings will do go down, so that's a nice pickoff. That might still still be worth it. I, I think it's it's probably worth it for the kings, right? Like they got four hundred gold. Actually, it might not have been. Now that I look at that, it might actually not have been worth it at all. Kings is pretty farmed, isn't he? Let's take a look at that worth. 
Oh, that's not net worth. In the meantime, oh, big Earthshake Hell Ultimate through the TP. That's always the most beautiful one. And uh, holy shit, Timosol taking down a bunch of people right now. Uh, the Death Prophet is still around. Timosol is also looking for another kill. Uh, but I don't know if they're going to be able to catch anyone. Goes on to the Mirana. Actually, the damage from the Hookshot connects as well. And that's a quick kill. Oh, that was beautiful, man. That Timber Chain. Fantastic. I should not call it the Hookshot. The Hookshot is a different ability. <laughs> but I didn't expect that damage to actually connect. And he is going to go ahead and actually pick up his Bloodstone right here. Oh, no. There's a recipe on it now. I always forget about that. I always forget about it. But yeah, there's a recipe on the Bloodstone now, so should, should keep that in mind. Okay, then. That is still one of the weirdest changes. Like, I don't really know why they did that, where you now have to buy a Soul Ring instead of the Perseverance. I guess because the Perseverance is too good of a build-up, but isn't it like the Soul Ring also a good build-up? Like, I'm not really sure. It's weird. It's weird to me. Like, I can't even decide if they made the build up better or worse, right? Like, it really depends on the hero. That's a little bit of an odd call, but I guess I personally would prefer having, like, an early perseverance on my hero. I like having that item. It's really, really useful. But, but, but Soul Ring is too... It's, it's weird. It really is. Oh, well. Oh, Urshika picks up an invisibility. Does not have his ultimate ready, but he actually did pick up some arcane boots. So that's nice. He's going to be able to make something happen with that. Maybe. He doesn't have his ultimate, though. <laughs> Lich gets dragged up the hill and then taken down. Shot down by the Earth Spirit. Oh, Errol connects with the Batrider. He's stunned for a lot for, for a vibe, but I don't think it's going to be any follow up on this. Yeah, they know there's a bunch of heroes around. And Lich already showing the sportma sportsmanship. Fantastic, dude. That's that's how you win a game. That's how you win a game. You go ahead and just freaking... <laughs> oh, man. Aren't these people brilliant? Look at that. Look at that. The second game ruined by this Bristleback. The Bristleback that has been doing really well. The Bristleback that's running around with the highest net worth in the game. Certainly the game has been ruined by that fellow. I can I can attest to this. That makes sense. In the meantime, Death Prophet is gonna go ahead and almost get killed. Actually, it appears she is still fine for the time being. That's that's interesting. Managed to pick up the Urshake instead. And uh, actually it seems like she's gonna live through this one now. That's interesting. She also picked up a new scepter of divinity, which is nice. The Urls, of course, is one of the best items to buy on the Death Prophet. Right? It's it's brilliant. It's just so fucking good. I wonder if it's going to be enough, though, because she doesn't really have any HP, right? I always like having a bit of HP on Death Prophet, right? Just something, right? If you if you don't want to go for drums, uh, I guess skip the face boots, right? If you... And, and replace them with power threads, obviously. If you don't want to do that, maybe pick up, like, a World of Atos. Does anybody on your team have a mecha already? Why not pick up a mecha, right? Something along those lines. Ools is great, and I don't even mind getting it as your first item because it allows you to, you know, as you can see, farm since it gives you a lot of mana region. But I just really like having something that tanks you up as well. And I am hoping she's going to go for that. I'm really hoping she's going to go for that. Meantime, this Bristleback is just farming up a ton. Apparently, he's ruining the game for doing so. <laughs> Uh, I don't really understand that. Now, the, the the thing that I fail to understand about that mentality is that like you are now blaming the Bristleback, right? And that's not really going to make him do anything different, is it? Like, it's not going to change him. <laughs> if you want him to do something different, you're going to have to, you know, just ask him to do so. It's not really that difficult. No need to be a dick about it. Oh, well, in the meantime, Batrider is getting ready to grab someone. He grabs the Bristleback. Bristleback is going to get dragged into four or five heroes and gets taken down pretty much immediately. Not much he could do right here. Honestly, like that was just a nice pickup. In the meantime, I'm going to try to turn this around. Death Prophet Ultimate doing a lot of damage right here. Batrider will get taken out. Earthshaker gets a nice ultimate despite not having a blink. And, oh my god, this is turning into disaster quickly. Three heroes down for the Dire. I wonder if actually, like, wait, who is actually doing well right here? Oh my god. Templar Assassin is going to try to get away. I, wait, 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 <laughs> What is happening here? So Templar Assassin is actually going to turn us around and get some kills. Clings gets taken down as well. Wait, okay, now it's the Earth Spirit versus the Templar Assassin. 
Is he gonna go for this? I think he's gonna go for this. Yeah, here we go. And he just takes her down. Wait, how many people died right there? <laughs> that is crazy. Wait, this doesn't make sense, though. Like, she's most certainly dead. Why doesn't, doesn't it include that? Like, the game, she's dead. She's literally dead right now. And, and now the fight recap. God damn it! Uh, recap! Recap! And look at this. He's gonna TP out. That's nice. Got himself a blink dagger. I wonder how useful that's gonna be. Uh, it's probably gonna be nice. Like, you blink in and just push somebody out, which is cute. I like that. But, again, I have not really seen Earth Spirit before, so I'm not quite sure what the hero actually does. Like, I know his abilities, but what does he do with those? <laughs> oh, man. So, to some extent, I can actually understand the, uh, the death prophet, where she's just frustrated, and that's fine, man, we are all human. But why you gotta be so rude? <laughs> In the meantime, Grizzlepack is gonna go ahead and try to get away from this. He should really pick up another item. Like, he is so beefy right now. I would love to see a Crimson Guard and just a Magic Wand, something cheaper, you know. But it appears he's probably gonna try to just straight up rush her hard, which is actually a terrible idea. Right, so as much as, much as hard is great, on Bristleback. Man, because it's, it's like you you want to have like HP, right? And like, like that that's that's it, right? You want to have HP. <laughs> I'm gonna actually go ahead and um Yeah. I don't I don't care. These guys are pathetic. Uh, let me just say that. Like this is just pathetic. And it's just a bunch of third graders acting up. That's that's all this is, but uh, well. I just want to watch the game, right? I don't care for the for their opinion. Oh well, oh well. So what is he actually is he actually gonna buy anything? Or is he is he acting in this child's play? He's just gonna not do anything ever. He keeps saving money until he's got like sixteen thousand, which is most certainly going to win the game. That profit in the meantime, just gonna get taken down, which is a nice pickup. Oh the Lich Ultimate is gonna keep bouncing. Actually, uh, yeah, it hit like three heroes once, which isn't too bad, and Earth, Earth Spirit went down. Clarence was gonna TP out of there, and he did actually pick up a Reaver. So, while the heart is good on Bristleback, right, don't don't get this wrong, heart is really good on Bristleback. I don't think it's good this game. I don't. Because there's a Timbersaw. And Timbersaw just straight up means, oh, you got a lot of strength? Great. <laughs> Let's go, man. And that's a problem, right? And I think you have to play around Timberson as much as that sucks. As much as that sucks, I think you have to do it. You have to say, okay, we're going up against the Timberson. I have to buy different items. I just I, I just can't go for what I usually like to go, go for. Because if I do that, he's going to cut through my strength and we are all going to die because I can't do shit. Meantime, Lich gets picked off. Nice lasso coming out. Oh, Orchid used. And it appears that the Mirana will get taken on by the Klings as well. Now Templar Assassin trying to get away. Death Prophet Ultimate getting cast. The Exorcism already dealing a lot of damage. Earthshaker. Oh, nice. <laughs> gets absolutely destroyed by the Templar Assassin. Now the Bristleback comes running in. Takes down. The Timbers are now it's just the clearing sitting here. Earth Spirit is also around. Cast an ultimate. He's gonna try to get something done, but gets silenced and taken down on the spot. Now Kings reveals himself. Actually, I don't know what that reveal was for. And now he will just he, he's just dead. That was weird. Greedy motherfucker. Okay, look at this. Yeah, that was pretty terrible for their team. That, that was actually a huge gold swing, isn't it? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. They were doing great until until that happened, and now it's just going not great anymore. It's actually a really even game. These people should stop bitching and appreciate the fact that they got a very interesting game going on with an even amount of kills and even amount of farm. That's fascinating, at least to me. Oh, well. So, this Templar Assassin, of course, she's just putting down the hurt on the entire team. She's got a Desolator now. In combination with her natural armor reduction from the Mel, that, of course, is going to just push through so fucking much damage, it's unbelievable. I mean, I all used on Roshan as well, they're gonna go ahead and take down this little guy really, really quickly. There's not much Roshan can do against Minus Armor, it just amplifies any damage he takes by so much that it doesn't matter how much HP you've got if you've got no armor. It's really that simple. It's really that simple, like, unless your HP is at ridiculous amounts, right? Unless it's beyond what's possible and reasonable. I, if you don't have armor, your HP doesn't matter. 
It's really that simple and he didn't have shit for armor right here already. I also like that the Mirana picked up a medallion. A medallion is a cheap and easy way to get a lot of damage done. It really is. Even if you yourself don't hit that hard, just cast the medallion on the hero uh, on the hero that you carry sitting, right? You're gonna amplify damage by so much. It's great. And it's a cheap item, your support can pick it up and it's gonna benefit your carry. I really like having the medallion on her. That's fantastic. It's a great choice. Oh, Nice, gonna be able to chain it. Oh, and a beautiful chain, actually. Cleans gets pushed out, though, but that's not gonna be enough. The big one-hit crit coming out from the meld, of course, and takes him down. I guess it's on the crit, but every time I see the red number pop up, I'm just like, that's a crit. <laughs> I don't know. I walk with three kind of engraved that into my mind. In the meantime, Emma's red gets caught, but it's not gonna be enough. He's got a blink dagger. He even got a haste rune, so he can get away if he feels like it. He should be just fine. Picks up the bounty rune. That's just gonna fall back. No, I really actually want to see what he's gonna be able to do with the blink dagger. The only thing I've seen so far is him jumping in and then dying horribly. So that's not quite the goal, is it? It's not. Uh, Earthshaker? Oh, he's actually getting close to his blink. So that's gonna be exciting to see. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Uh, blink on Earthshaker, of course, is fantastic. Like, it's great. I don't think I need to explain that one. Meantime, Death Prophet. Gonna go ahead and pick up a kill on the Earth Spirit after the Earth Spirit actually takes a kill on the ditch. Wow. Okay, apparently he can do he can do that. Apparently the zero deals damage? Wait, what? <laughs> That's new, I wasn't aware of that. Okay though. Apparently Earth Spirit deals damage. I learn something new every day. Uh well the ultimate obviously does. Ultimate is actually really good. I love the Magnetizer. I think Magnetizer is a very powerful ability. I just don't really like the rest of his skills that much. He seems... I don't know. It's probably just because I haven't seen a good Earth Spirit yet. But every time I, I see this hero, it just seems like a stumbling idiot. You know, trying to get something done. But the player that plays it just seems handicapped. You know, like anything he can do, I could do with another hero. And the four stuff, I guess. <laughs> you know, like, you want to stop side to picking him. In the meantime, we're gonna have an Agonimus picked up on the Timber Saw. I like that. I very much like that Agonimus on the Timber Saw. That is beautiful. That's gonna be incredible. Uh, so much damage coming out from that. Like the second chakra, I'm like, it literally increases his DPS from the ultimate by 100%. Ah, that's just beautiful. Of course, he's gonna have some mana issues, but he just needs to get a few bloodstone charges going, and he's gonna be just okay. So, I'm excited like, to see how he's gonna do in those fights. Probably wants to pick up something that will give him a bit more mana now, and probably a lot more armor. So, if I had to take a guess, it would definitely be the Shiva Scarred. If I had to give a recommendation, it would also be the Shiva Scarred. And if I had to play it myself, it would also be the Shiva Scarred. So honestly, if he doesn't pick up the Shiva Scarred, I will be highly disappointed. Because that is a great item to pick up right here. That's going to be useful. That will be very useful for him indeed. In the meantime, Death Prophet going to come charging in as he actually managed to pick up... A Reaver and is getting very close to a Howard. In the meantime, the big lasso coming out on the Death Prophet before she even gets to cast her ultimate. She might get taken down before she gets to do anything. Earthshaker picks her up. In the meantime, Timbersaw gets taken down by the Templar Assassin. Templar Assassin is still trying to get maybe another kill. And it appears that's going to be the end of it. Oh, Earth Spirit comes running in, connects with... Oh my god! What a beautiful initiation coming out from the Earthshaker right here. Picks up his Blink Dagger and immediately makes the big place up. And Templar Assassin gets caught after the Ashes Resurrection. Activates the BKB and is probably going to be able to get out of here. Actually, I don't know about this. She doesn't have Blink. I don't know. Like, in my mind, Templar Assassin always goes for a Blink. So I just assumed, assumed she had it. She's going to try to maybe turn it around. Gets a kill on the Clinks actually. But now she will go down. That's a 4 4 2 exchange? Something along those lines. In the meantime, Tim, the, this bristleback is just sitting up at the top lane. I'm getting more money. Uh, that's kind of a shame. I think he should help out if his team is pushing in like that. But then then again, you gotta keep in mind that this fight recap is useless. <laughs> no, that is not what happened. That is not the fight I care about. Uh, okay. But, you know, like as much as I. As I uh, do think that the Timosaur could have been there and he could have helped out, especially some considering he's got TP boots, right? And that also, it also isn't his fault for not being there. It's not. Because what happened is not that his team initiated without him being there. 
Even in that case, it's not his fault for not being there, right? Because then his team initiated without him being there. It's not like it's gonna change instantly. Like, you think, no. You know he's not here, why are you initiating? But instead, his team got caught while he wasn't there. Which is almost worse. Right? It's just like... Yeah, why are you this, uh, this far up front if the Tim... No, the Tim was not. If the Bristleback isn't around. Like, what? what is your point? What are you trying to achieve? You really need to work a little bit more, like, as a team. And this actually goes out to everybody. I know that the Timosaur... No, the Timosaur... Why do I always want to say Timosaur? Bristleback isn't cooperating that well. That is, in fact, true. Like, I, I can't tell. Don't worry. But, well, neither are you fuckers. <laughs> There's not really much of a difference between all of you. They're just the same. They're just the same. All of you are just the same. Meantime, it seems that the Templar Assassin is going to go ahead and go for crits. I have to admit, I would love to see a blink. Ah, I just... I don't like this pure damage build. The thing is, she deals a lot of damage already. Right, she does. Like, she's really, really, really high on the damage. Like, 10 plus has and deals a lot of damage. Why do I need to continue on this path? And especially with the Desolator. And she's got face boots, a black king bar. You know, like, even just those two items already add 48 damage. And now are 60 from the Desolator. And then she's, of course, got the meld and the refraction of that. Just goes to ridiculous lengths. Oh, in the meantime, it actually appears we've got a bit of a fight in the mid lane. See, uh, Bristleback is actually coming around. It's not that the guy is refusing to fight. It's just that he isn't around, you know. It's kind of like that. Arrow's gonna fly, doesn't connect with anything, nice flame break, and now Timosaur's gonna try to get away. Should probably just throw out a few chakrams, and oh my god, there's a ton of damage coming out! The <laughs> poor, poor death roof gets taken down immediately. Lasso gonna drag the Templar Assassin onto the hill, I think he's just gonna keep her there, yep. Yep, I like that, that is beautiful. It's gonna go out and stack up a few stacks of napalm, and now she's actually taking a bunch of damage. Earth Spirit teleports on there as well, takes her down, and now it's gonna force stuff himself out of there. That is that was a nice pickup. I actually managed to salvage this fight quite well. So, for the first time in a while, this fight recap is gonna be uh, useful. And as you can see, even though it was two heroes uh, dead on the Dyer and three heroes dead on the Radiant, this was actually a favorable fight for the Radiant. Because they got about the same, but they got a thousand more experience, which is great. <laughs> and if you now take a look at the graphs, you know, it's, this is back and forth as all. Well. This is a really interesting game. This is really cool. If only the players were on like five year olds, that would be fantastic. <laughs> or or what what is more likely, probably about, you know, 16, 17, 20, something along those lines, year olds acting like five year olds. So, you know, the it's really cool though. This was actually quite a pleasurable watch. I gotta enjoy it. Gotta bit I enjoy this. Anyway, in the meantime. In the is pleasurable watch a word? It's no. Fuck it. I guess it's not one word. Is it is it a combination of words that works? Is it like grammar? <laughs> is it grammar? <laughs> it's probably grammar, but is it right grammar? <laughs> I don't know. In the meantime, Urshek is sitting in the mid lane. He's gonna go ahead and try to go onto the Lich. Lich, taking a bunch of damage. He will get taken down immediately. Nice arrow on the, onto the Earth Spirit, though. But I think this is only gonna reveal the Mirana and get her killed. That is exactly what happens. So that's two more kills for the die. No, Radiant, I'm sorry. Two more kills for the Radiant. And now, Temple Assassin gets Orchided. No, it seems she's gonna be fine. Or activates a BKB. That Prophet activates the Exorcism as well. It catches the Timber Song as he's trying to Timber Chain away. And no shaker. Not the greatest ultimate right there. And he is actually gonna fall, I think. Yeah, Bristleback is gonna commit to that Earth Shaker. Earth shaker goes down. Clinks still around, gets taken down as well. And one quick hit from that Death Prophet is gonna finish him off. And then, uh, actually, wait, wait, wait. What's this is still going on? <laughs> Bristleback gonna try to get away from that bad rider right here. Oh, uses noodles. He's actually pretty fast and he did pick up a noodles, which is kind of cute, I gotta admit. Uh, Hard is gonna set in right here and start ticking, so he will heal up and he will be able to continue fighting. Bad rider blinks himself up the hill. Ah, oh, buddy. That was a mistake, and I think this fight worked out for the Dyer for once. Let's see. Holy shit, these fights! Look at that! But yes, that last kill is really what made the difference right there. So, that was a good fight. That was a good fight for them. That was pretty fantastic. The only one that did through this was this Earth Spirit. And while Earth Spirit has been playing well, right, he definitely has been playing really well. I'm quite impressed with the guy, especially considering I've never seen a useful Earth Spirit. Uh, he's not the highest net worth. So, him living is like 
you know, not not that important. Well, on the other side, the heroes with the highest net worth actually lived, being, of course, a 10 plus assassin on the bristleback. Which means, considering, you know, the, the rubber band mechanic that's going on right now, yeah. That was a good fight for them. <laughs> they are even going to go ahead and take down Rajan, pick up the edges. And I think at this point, the Templar Assassin is quite comfortable not saving up for buyback and instead going for like a, that big Daedalus. Probably. I would still love to see a blink. Just sell the drums, you know, just sell the drums and pick up a blink dagger. But you know what? That's your choice. That's your choice. That's your call to make. But hey, you know what? It's been going pretty well for them. And now, Timosaur is going to get caught by the Bristleback. Bristleback being a really quick motherfucker with those. CP boots and the Ural Scepter of Divinity and everything. Timosa activates his. <laughs> wow, a Ghost Scepter. Interesting. But he will go down. He's not living through this. Not at all. A quick and easy kill. That's actually a pretty big deal because that guy is the most powerful hero on the Radiant side. That's not really somebody they can afford to just lose like that. Wow. Oh. That's uh, actually, as you can see, it made quite a, quite a difference too. So. Oh no, what happened? Mirana got taken down. Oh, I completely missed that. I wasn't... Oh, I should really be paying better attention. Press the back. Cancels the TP and... I don't know though. That's that's Earthbird. He can't just ball himself away, yeah. Okay, so... I think that's gonna be the end of that. Uh, that was nice, actually. Uh, so, first of all, they managed to pick up a kill. In retaliation for the Timbersaw. Which is already pretty damn good, right? But on top of that, they managed to stop the push through not engaging in a fight, which is which is fantastic, right? Because even though they did kill the Mirana, there's no way Mirana and Timosov have got the same impact in those fights. They just don't. There's a difference, right? Like Mirana is much, much weaker than the Timosov. She got a third of the net worth. Like there's just no comparison there. But They still didn't. They still stopped the push without actually engaging, which is great because you know that would have not been a good engagement for them. Engagement? Start, I guess you could say that. And you always think about marriage. I guess they could marry. You know, you can go ahead and marry. I don't. I'm not gonna judge you. <laughs> I'm all for Earth Spirit Robot Earth Shaker Triple Gay Marriage. I'm okay with this. <laughs> <laughs> World Bomb me 2016. Is there an election in... There, there's got to be some sort of election in 2016. World Bomb <laughs> Oh, man. I'm all for this. All for it. I don't care. Marry, marry this dog with a club on his back. I don't care. Feel free. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Wait, what are the graphs like? Look at this shit. This is so close. I can't keep going with this all day. Actually, I can't keep... Uh, we got like 20 more minutes. Actually, no, we got like 30 more minutes. They should be done in 30 more minutes, though, I hope. I, I don't actually have any more time. <laughs> oh, man. They better not pause now. They're gonna go ahead and push down the star. Actually, a big lasso coming out on the Death Prophet. They want to kill her before she gets off that Exorcism, which, of course, is a huge amount of damage. Oh, Ul's use that's gonna buy her some time. I wonder if that's gonna be enough. Nope, in fact, it will not be. She gets taken down quick and easy. So, Templar Assassin is on the run, and the rest of the heroes are too. Death Prophet buys back. Does she have TP boots? No, she's gonna TP in. She's really quick, though, so I wonder if that's gonna be enough. Bristle back in the meantime. Trying to avenge the kill on the Lich, who did not get off his ultimate, which is a pretty big deal, you know. Should just throw those out if you're gonna die anyway. Doesn't have that much of a cooldown. Meantime, Klings, Uld, again. And, oh my god, almost taking down, but just one hit from the Templar Assassin. Earthshaker gonna try to get away, and this is where I would love to see the Blink Dagger. And in fact, holy shit, Tim was not, you crazy motherfucker. Takes her down. And here we go with the exorcism, however, she's gonna go ahead and try to force him away. Timbersaw gets trapped by his own Earthshake, but well, he's a Timbersaw, he should be okay. And this tower will go down after a long fight. Earthspirit coming back into it. He's gonna keep himself safe though. He doesn't actually want to engage in any of this. And I like that they're all picking up these Ghost Scepters. Yeah, that's actually gonna make a big part. Of this diet team, rather useless, honestly. Oh, Earth Spirit! Oh my god! He just vanishes from the face of the Earth, gets demolished by this Phantom Assassin, which is not a Phantom Assassin, but she might as well be. And Templar Assassin and 
<laughs> Activates the PKP, gonna try to turn us around. If she got a crit on that, that would be Im like instant death. Oh, nice blink coming out. Timbersaw is still scary. Man, he's gonna just suicide himself right now. Oh, this, this, she needs blink so bad. I don't know if you can tell. I like playing fan, uh, no, Templar Assassin. God damn it. <laughs> I enjoy playing this hero. I very much do. And if you don't have blink, she just feels so slow. And you can tell this game, right? She's got major, major issues just getting to places. Like she can't, like she got the damage to kill them, but she just can't get the hits in. And that's a that's that's a problem gets fixed by a blink. That is definitely a problem that gets fixed by a blink. And I'm still hoping that she's gonna pick one up. But I don't know. It's pretty late now. People don't like picking up items like that this late into the game. They usually get them earlier. So come on, TP. That's good. That's a good call. Come on, lady. You can do it. Just sell the drums. You don't need those. You haven't been using them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is gonna happen. The prize is mine. Oh well. Meantime, Bristleback picks up an assault cross. I would still like to see a Crimson Garden. I don't know. He probably just forget for, forgot it exists. I often do that, but I do like the Crimson Garden. I think it's very powerful. Uh, we've got the Lich. He's got barely anything. <laughs> Poor little fellow has been warding. And uh, Death Prophet got a heart. Probably, definitely going for a BKB, which honestly she should have done much earlier. It's a good call. BKB is great this game. And um, we ran a... Got a 4 staff. Yeah, she's just doing the usual supporting things. Uh, I do like that she picked up a 4 staff. That's a cheap and effective item that does a lot. So, yeah. Yeah, I do like that. I very much do like that. She could go for some damage though. But honestly, I don't think they need that. Because the Templar doesn't deal enough damage for like 3 teams. And meantime, another catch on the Bristleback. Bristleback taking a bunch of bursts. And this is actually... This is the power of Timbers already. Right Bristleback gonna try to get away, and he will not be able to do so. Yeah, that right there, that's Timmer's off for you. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit, just destroy that super tanky Bristleback. Meantime, pick up on that. Clinks, and now Templar isn't trying to get something. The nice arrow connects with the Timmer's, and he will go down as a result. Will he? Yes, he will. <laughs> no, Spurt almost managed to save him. Lich Ultimate gonna come out. Just gonna deal a little bit of poking damage to the Earth Shaker. Who will then proceed to just sit in the basin, you know, await his moment. Hoping to get a big, what is it actually called? Echo Slam. Hoping for, for that to happen sometime soon. Oh, it's just gonna. I like that. I like that. You know, I'll just keep him out. I can't kill you, but at least, at least I can keep you away. You know what? And there we go with the lasso. Probably actually a rather suicidal idea with the exorcism going on. The first duel is coming out already. And that prophet might actually die. Yeah, she will get taken down. There was no support. None. That is confusing to me. Where's the, where's the temple assassin? Okay, Miranda will get taken down. Why is she not, why is she not in that fight? Well, now she shouldn't be. Well, now it just doesn't make sense because, like, the entire team is there. But they could have easily kept that Death Prophet alive, man. God damn it, fight recap. This is not what happened. <laughs> that is useless. Wait, this is different. This is a little better. No, still useless. No, damn it, it left. It vanished. <laughs> Forever to be forgotten. Oh, well. So what is she going? Well, probably, actually, Butterfly? I don't know. Them just get like an MKB for maximum damage. Now. More crits. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't this, don't this no crits. It's good. Gives you more crits. Where's the back caught? Gonna get sound stop. Taking a lot of damage. Timbers of course. Wall of his pure and uh, you know strength reducing nukes. And where's the back will die. Probably doesn't have buyback, does he? No, he does. He does have buyback. Okay, so that's good. He probably is going to need to do that. Wait, with only 1,600 gold, this late into the game? Wow, buyback is cheap, man. What a shit, Every, everybody can buy back these days. That's crazy. Well, Tower's going to go ahead and take a lot of pressure. Lich Ultimate is just going to jump on some creeps. I don't really know what that one was all about. Hoping to bounce to some heroes, I suppose. But <laughs> that is not going to result in anything, let's be honest. And uh, Radiant is just going to use this to retreat. 
Oh, that's pretty good. You know, that's fine. It's gonna be just okay if this bad rider picks up a refresher. So there are actually two ways of using this. The first one being you jump in, grab somebody, pull them out, you know, kill them, refresh, do the same thing again, get two kills. Pretty neat. Or the cooler way to do it is you jump in, grab somebody, refresh, grab another guy, and then just pull both out at the same time. Which is much worse. You should you should do the first method. But you know, it's pretty cool. <laughs> If you actually manage to do what I just described, that's pretty damn cool. Like, you win an award for being cool. It's just cool, man. It's pretty damn cool. So, yeah. I would like an award for being cool. I think I deserve one, honestly. What's she doing? Did she just sell her recipe? Hmm. Uh, you would think that she actually you know, would have her BKB by now. And, and it ended up being a butterfly. I think that's odd. That's mostly there just for the clings. Which I guess it's going to reduce his damage by a bunch. But it doesn't actually reduce any other damage, right? Well, I guess enchant totem to some extent. But this guy is obviously not going for right click in any way. So. Yeah, whatever. Other than that, no. It just doesn't reduce any damage. These guys are actually picking up ghost scepters, right? They're not going to attack you. That is not their... That's not what they... What they do, right? It's just not. <laughs> it's not their thing, man. They want to cast some spells. They want to nuke you down. And you're going and picking up butterflies? That's a little silly. In the meantime, nice kill coming out on that... On that bat rider. And now she can't, can't get to the Earth Spirit because no blink. But it's not going to matter because Earth Spirit is going down anyway. Chris back picks that one up. And it actually appears Klings is going to get picked off. Oh, wow. He doesn't have invisibility for quite a while. He even gets dusted up, which is quite honestly really unnecessary. And Arrow is going to connect. This guy's going down. That's three kills. Three kills just like that. That's huge. That is such a huge change. Uh, like that that actually had a terrible, terrible impact for them. And they're not gonna go ahead and actually push down the space. They got the Death Prophet ultimate. They didn't use anything. And she actually got her BKB now. I didn't use shit for that fight. That is enormous. So, uh, this tower is going down, man. And uh, she's going to activate her BKB. She's just going to go for the bottom barracks instead. I wonder if they're actually going to split up. Yeah, it seems. Seems like they're going to take down these melee barracks in the midline. Now, these melee barracks at the bottom line are going and uh, getting burst down. She's still got a new horse. They're going to throw up the Timbers on instead of herself. I guess that works. And Earthshaker will get picked off. I think that might be the end of it. I might very well just... Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. They picked up all lanes. There's only one range barracks left and who gives a shit. That's that's gonna die. That's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. Well, it was a fun game though. I very much enjoyed that one. Yeah, man. That was crazy back and forth. Lots of action and... Uh, well, kind of an anticlimactic ending. But uh, hey, it's not over yet. <laughs> it is. It is. There's no way a team like this comes back against Mega Creeps. It's just not gonna happen. Oh, Bristleback? Mm. Oh man, that's nasty. Ooh, poor guy. He doesn't deserve that, man. It's just, he's just a guy like you and me. And you treat him that badly? Why? What did he ever do to you, man? What did he ever do to you? And well, this tower's gonna go down, this tower's gonna go down. And that's gonna be the end of it. That was actually a really, really cool game. Played by a bunch of five years old. Five year old, but the old uh, can't speak anymore. Oh well. And boo, baby. <laughs> oh, Shaker, finishing with a bang. I like it. You know, might as well cast one last Echo Slam. Why the hell not? And that's gonna be it. A victory for the Dyer. After a long and hard fought game. And you know what? It was actually quite entertaining. I very much enjoyed it. So, I hope you enjoyed it too. Leave a rating if you did. And, uh, well, criticize my horrible casting. Goodbye, everybody.